guys welcome back thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video and for another episode of Camille tries out some of these beauty products that she's always buying okay <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today I am definitely using some new products some are new some are not so it's kind of like a first impressions testing out seeing how I like them seeing how I feel about them but before we get started into this affordable drugstore makeup video full face by the way i do want to do a couple of channel shout outs i don't know i just feel like shouting somebody out today <laughs> so i have two channels that i want to shout out today or just really kind of bring recognition to because these two lovely ladies have talent they have skills i love their channels and i think if you like the content that i put out then you'll like their content as well so of course i love a whole plethora of channels but these two i just picked a shout out today because i wanted to go ahead and show them some love so the first channel is a marie beauty okay i will go ahead and link the channel below but she's a gorgeous young lady extremely talented and she definitely has the skills to pay the bills y'all so if you like a bomb makeup look a bomb eye look go ahead and check her channel out because y'all know y'all need something new to watch <laughs> and the other channel i want to shout out today is my girl just peachy d okay i love my girl dj look she loves to do the makeup reviews the beauty reviews the hauls the first impressions and not only oh tutorials as well not only does she do the makeup she also does like natural hair products and things like that so just want to give just pgd a shout out as well i will link both of those channels below so go ahead and check them out you guys tell them kk sent you and i think you'll like them you might like them a little bit more than my channel don't but, go there uh, <laughs> okay don't go there all right so anyway <laughs> let's jump into this look of course i'm gonna start off with these eyebrows as y'all can see they struggling right now so i'm gonna take my la girl shady slim eyebrow pencil and this is in the color blackest brown i really like this pencil so i'm gonna go ahead and use this to fill in my brows today To clean up underneath and above my eyebrows, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Concealer, and this is in the color Dark Cocoa. it for my brows you guys as y'all know I'm not a brow perfectionist so there we have it okay now um I'm gonna do my eyes first today I was gonna do my face because quite honestly I get tired of looking at my face <laughs> with all these blemishes when I'm doing my makeup but I'm gonna do my eyes first you guys now mm, now since I am doing an affordable face today I am going to use my LA girl pro conceal to set my eyelids I haven't used it in quite a while because I felt fallen in love with the Mac ochre soft ochre paint pot to use as my eyeshadow primer but it's not the most affordable product so I'm going to use my LA girl pro conceal for my eyelids today And I'm going to use my e.l.f. HD powder to set it because I don't want it to crease. Lately, I haven't been setting my MAC paint pot, but I know this LA Girl Pro Conceal will crease on me if I don't set it. Okay, you guys, so for the affordable eyeshadow palette I'm using today, it's going to be one of my Profusion eyeshadow palettes that I just got 
from their holiday collection and this palette was ten dollars i did purchase it on the perfusion website but you can pick up these palettes at target so this is what this palette looks like as you guys can see it's very very pretty nice warm tones just absolutely gorgeous for fall but this is what it looks like. Now these palettes do come with a double-sided brush inside of them. You get a flat side and you get a fluffy side. I'm probably going to use this brush for one of the shadows, but not the first one. The first shadow I'm going to go into, I think is going to be Serendipity which is this gorgeous yellow shade here. Very, very pretty. And I'm just going to place that on the upper portion of my eyelid. It's very pretty, it's kind of like a mustardy yellow color. It's not too, too bold and pigmented, but I do like that color, it's very pretty. I feel like my MAC Ochre Paint Pot probably would have made it pop a little bit more, but it's all good. We're gonna get this affordable makeup slate today, y'all. Okay, so I did go in with a couple of layers of that mustard gold shade, but I like it. I ain't mad at it, it's pretty, and it blended out very nicely. Next, I wanna go into this really pretty orange shade, Secure, very, very pretty. That's really, really pretty. I like how those two colors blend together. Very, very nice. I like this brush too. It's not too bad for crease work. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and deepen my outer corner a bit. So I'm going into this color Madly, which is this really pretty deep burgundy type shade. So for the lid, we have a few shimmer shades to choose from. We have some lighter shades up here and we have this gorgeous green down here. We also have this pretty shade here. Um, so I think I'm gonna go in with this pretty gold shade here, which is sunny. I'm gonna start out with that and I am going to spray my brush with a little rose water. pretty it's just like a soft wash of gold and it can definitely be layered because I'm going in just a few times just to kind of make it pop a little bit more okay Sunny I see you you should pop in or whatever Yeah, it's definitely buildable and I like it <laughs> I like it I want to add another color though there's this really pretty shade here, which is called Empire. It's a really pretty kind of pinky type shade. So I want to go in with that on the center portion of my lid. And once again, I'm going to wet my brush. That's a pretty color, I like that. Okay, and just to keep it simple, I'm going back into that dark, dark burgundy shade and just stamping that on the outer corner. And I add just an extra little bit of razzle dazzle on the inner. I'm going to go in with Mascot, which is this really, really light shimmer shade here and place that on the inner corner. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some black eyeliner, and this is just my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna add that before I move on to my face. Okay, you guys, so let's move into the complexion. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Oil Control Liquid Lotion today, and I'm actually going to use this as a moisturizer and a primer, I think. I don't know, I'll see how it feels if 
it doesn't feel primey enough, then <laughs> I will use a primer as well. I know y'all like, is primey a word? Is primey a word, Camille? But since it's supposed to mattify, you know, I'm thinking I can just use this as a two-in-one type situation. So this lotion is a little bit sticky, so I'm thinking that I probably should just use that as my primer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my color correcting. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color orange to do a little bit of color correcting under my eyes and around my mouth. color correcting done I'm going to use my Maybelline 24 hour foundation today and this one is in the color 360 mocha okay I'm feeling like this foundation is my summer shade <laughs> it is a little chocolatey but that's all right my pores are just tremendous today they look like craters today and it's driving me crazy i'm really thinking about trying out that for Sally, um primer or whatever it is that everybody raves about but this stuff is egg spin sip okay so <laughs> if i pay that amount for it trust that stuff better work okay but everybody raves about it they say that it really erases your pores and lord knows I need some pore erasure. Okay, so for concealer today, I'm going to use my Revolution Concealer. And I think I'm going to use a bit of the C13 and the C12 um, just to brighten up under my eyes a little bit. has very nice coverage and it works pretty nicely as a highlighting concealer as well I believe okay so now I do want to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring and I'm going to use my black opal black walnut contour is this black walnut yeah it is this is black walnut it's pretty dark pretty deep I think it's a little bit cool tone which is what I like in a contour um, So we're going to go with this today. Okay, so let's go ahead and set under my eyes and the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in with this J-Cat Lux Pro Banana Powder since it is very reasonably priced. I'm sorry, I don't remember what the price is on these items, you guys, but I know they are inexpensive. So I'm going to use this to set under my eyes today and the rest of my highlighted areas on my face. this powder you guys it's very very nice it just kind of smooths everything out I like it a lot might have to give my collab powder a little run for his money okay because y'all know I use my collab every day <laughs> so this J cat is not bad though now I just want to go on with some of my soft focus from black radiance and this one is in the color milk chocolate and this is a finishing powder actually so just going to lightly dust it all over my face. Now this is also a highlighter palette from City Color that I got from shophush.com. So I'm going to use this one to highlight with today. And I'm using my new highlighter brush that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to go into this warm highlight right here and just kind of 
see how that looks. Mm, it's actually pretty. Very pretty. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this highlighter on my brow bone as well, just to kind of keep it cohesive. Oh, that's pretty. I like this highlighter palette, you guys. <laughs> and I only paid like a couple of dollars for it because I know I got it on sale. Y'all see, y'all see me sinking? I'm not in the mood to buy a new beauty chair, okay? But this one is like seriously sinking. I don't remember how much my Sephora Spice Blush Palette <laughs> costs. I don't know if it's affordable or not, but obviously it is not drugstore, so, but I wanna use this orange in here. So, y'all don't be mad at me, okay? This is not drugstore affordable blush. And this is actually like shimmery as well, but at least it still goes with the whole color scheme that I'm working with today. So I guess we just gonna be a little bit shiny because I wanna go with this sunset type of vibe. We gonna roll with it. Cause I do like the more orangey shade of this blush. It's kind of like a blush slash highlight situation with this. So yeah, this is what we rolling with today. Okay, whatever. Okay, now that we look like orange spice, <laughs> let me go ahead and get back to these eyes, okay? So let's go back into this palette. I think I just wanna go into the orange shade here, which is secure, and just use that to smoke out under my lower lash line first. So I'm going into this dark shade here, the dark burgundy shade, and I'm just going to use that a little bit closer to my lash line. Okay, and so for affordable eyeliner, I'm going in with my e.l.f. black eyeliner, which I'm sure only cost me a dollar, maybe two. And I'm just going to use that on my waterline. And for mascara, I wanna try out this new mascara that I just got off of Amazon, and this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've heard that this is a really good, affordable mascara. I think I only paid like $4.99 for it or something on Amazon. So I'm gonna try this out today. And I like the wand, the way the wand is shaped. It has like a, a slight curve to it. So let's check this out, y'all. It definitely added volume and length to my lashes. Okay, and for lips, I think I'm gonna go dark today, so I'm going to use my ColourPop Ellery Lip Liner. Got that little ombre effect going on with my lips, so maybe I'll keep it lighter in the center. Hold, please. Okay, so I'm also going to use one of my ColourPop lippies, and this is in the color Speed Dial. Oh, that's brighter than I thought it was. So, I'm just going to keep blending until I get that ombre effect. Now, I think I want a gloss, a little bit of a gloss on top. Why not? Everything else is shining today. So I'm gonna go in with, oh, I can't use Fenty. That's not affordable. <laughs> uh, okay, I know I got a cheap lip gloss here somewhere. Please hold. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is just a cheap clear lip gloss from Ruby Kisses. I'm sure I got this from the beauty supply for a dollar. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on my lips. <laughs> for some shine. <laughs> Since I can't use my Fenty, I'm low key kind of sad that I can't use my Fenty lip gloss, y'all. We 
can get the same shine for a dollar at the beauty supply, okay? <laughs> this one is a little sticky though. It is a little sticky, but it's all good. And to finish everything off, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray to finish off this budget look. So this is it you guys for my affordable makeup look for today using this Profusion Confidence palette. I really like this palette you guys. I like how this look came out. I think it's gorgeous. I love these colors and it just kind of makes me feel like I got a sunset on my face. <laughs> So as you guys saw, some of the items I wasn't too keen with, but everything else I feel pretty good about. I mean, my cheeks are glistening and shining because of that Sephora palette, but I think it kind of goes along with the whole orangey look today. So this is it, you guys. Hopefully you found some products maybe that you want to pick up or that you already have in your stash that you want to kind of try out and use but i really appreciate you guys for hanging out with me for this full face of affordable makeup that you can find at your drugstore or your ulta or your beauty supply you know for those of us who want to look good on a budget okay <laughs> you guys i quit running my mouth that's enough like i said it's saturday i ain't got nothing to do so i just came to hang out with you guys but thanks so much for stopping by and i will see you on my next video toodles